Well, I think with a greater appreciation for it. He will throw on first down and complete to Beal Smith, and he's going to try and. And on the carry, here's Beal. Long read, and this is similar to that, but it's this long mesh point right there between the quarterback and the back. 11.54 to go here in the first quarter. He's back to throw. And looking long, deep to the sideline. That's going to be today with a 14 to nothing lead. They're getting inspiration from every place. And Wake Forest trying to answer. Walker on the run, but he was. So second down and nine for the Demon Deacons. Hardman. And that one. He did, Dave. I, you know, even though they've had some, you know, they've lost some pass catchers from a year ago, I do think they have a good young group here at Wake Forest. Hartman go on that one. You said big arm by Hartman. You're right. He needed it to be because that was a small window throw. Walker going into the pile. Tested catch. Obviously, big body receivers traditionally good at doing that. Bill Smith on the carry on third. Makes you wonder how much time it takes to get this down, the nuances of this mesh style. Hartman with plenty of time in the pocket. And again, a good, strong delivery. This system that they've become so good at doing. Second and two, that's Walker, and a big hole opens up as he died. And this run, a little bit different design. You're going to see guys pulling around, basically, uh, you know, the, the right guard and right tackle pulling around, ends up as the lead blocker. Hartman going up top, looking for the end zone. You don't give your receiver a chance to touch the ball. Ninth play of the drive, and it's going to be Walker trying to be a surprise. Obviously, Tim Beck, that's his background to go fast. But I do think you have to worry about conditioning. Walker bouncing outside across the 30-yard line, staying on his feet to pick up it. And no huddle for Wake. Out of the shotgun. Hartman off the fake. Looking to throw to the sideline. That one complete to Roberson. Roberson staying on because of COVID concerns. He said, you know, he was a really good teammate, did a great job here. And as Walker stays on his feet, boy, the second. So they ruled no fumble. It is first and goal then for the Demon Deacons. And a handoff for Walker. They think he can be a real complete back. Second and goal. Hartman looking to throw. Has time. Good protection. Go for the end zone. The catch, man. It's a really nice job to Sam Hartman. He actually wants to go to his right. You see his eyes wanting to start to his right. He's kind of late getting to this corner route. But he puts it up high where his receiver, Robertson, can go up and get it. That left foot is down, control of the football. Yards and a touchdown so far. And watch the throw it here, showing a very strong arm. That one going to be complete to Morin for Sam Hartman. The sophomore out of Cornelius, North Carolina. With the handoff, Beal Smith, but they... But you've referenced it a few times, the strong arm of Sam Hartman. That ball does look like it's popping out of his hands. Hartman came into tonight saying, well, I'm experienced, sort of. Although he has about 3,000 yards of total offense. Hey, Dave, I think he's a tough competitor. I think he's a good passer. And I think he's a good fit in this offense. A little bit of a hole. 18, 18 years old. He turned 21 years old this summer. So there's some experience there, too. And nothing who said hello. It's Peyton Wilson atoning for the late hit. They just bring him off of, I think, acceptable <laughs> at this point. Wake, by the way, three out of four on third down. Hardman will throw into the flat and complete to Stewart again. It's probably the right decision. So he's back to throw into the pocket right down the middle, and that one is complete. So they move it into the red zone. First down and 10 here for Wake. And again, that mesh offense trying to bounce outside is Beal Smith heading for the end zone he on a play that for a few seconds didn't look like it was going anywhere. But it was going somewhere, Dave, because you know what? The quarterback block. It's that long <laughs> mess, as you called, walking Beal Smith. In this case, just saw Tory uh, there are some people, Tim, in the stadium here tonight. As the Wolfpack gives way now to... Yeah. And that's, a, that's a new First development. Down and Good 10. to have him in town. Hartman with the Wake Forest got 100 tickets and we're talking about 100 people in the stands guys. Hartman back to pass and complete over the middle. The Hartman's improved at doing just kind of poison the pocket as he climbed to find an AT Perry.
Second down nine. Trouble. Hartman's going to go down. He's going to lose five yards. Yeah, just good fight by Drake Thomas. They bring a pressure. Kenneth Walker is able to just get a piece of the blitzer, but a quarterback, Michael Kearney. Kern is in, out of the shotgun. And back to throw with a little bit of time. Still has time. Now he's going to roll out to his right. Being chased down, and he will fire that one. One on third and long with your starting quarterback. Hardman to throw, and rifles that one in another complete. And they've got a very challenging schedule coming up. North Carolina, Chapel Hill, they get Virginia, they get Louisville. A tremendous yards. <laughs> it's basically the same route that he just ran. Roberson working in the slot does a Please good job. Play clock to 25 uh, seconds. Stacking the defender, and that's an excellent. Big first down for Wake. And Hartman handing off once again. That's Walker who bounces outside across the 30. Man. Yeah, and it's a really nice run by Kenneth Walker. They talk about you know how he's. You know, really one of the better backs they've had here. Look at the patience and the job of the guys up front just sticking. You can absolutely see why. Hartman has had a good half. He's going to hand off here for Walker, who cuts it back. Still on it. Actually, he's not even thinking about it. Just dream about it. <laughs> Low snap, but it's Walker again. Walker again, the running back alongside Hartman, who's gone 14 for 17, 151 yards passing. Walker with another 10 yards against Duke. He was also a talented wide receiver out of high school in Memphis. Hartman's going to race ahead now as he gets across 10 yard line and in first half. And Walker takes it. He's going to race. Wake Forest. We've seen that long mesh point, and now we've seen just lead blocking with two. Well, he made a couple of spectacular catches for him and really helped out on major drives. Now Bill Smith trying to get free of a tackler. He's going to be taken. So first down and 10 as Wake Forest begins their first drive of the second half. Low snap here for Hartman, but he's going to hand this off for Walker, who really had a nice first. So they're going to have a first down on the very first effort. Harvin back to throw. He's going to have schools of better than any in 120 year history. Hart again to the sideline. And third down and 10 for Wake Forest. And a 21 21 tie in Raleigh. And Hartman going deep, looking for his receiver, Johnson. First down and 10 here for Wake Forest trying to answer now. NC State with a spectacular touchdown moments ago. About the diversity of the offensive play calls. Pressure here collapsing on the quarterback. Sam Hartman just forced to hold on to the football. Wasn't comfortable finding anywhere to go with it. And Christian Beal Smith who's. And Hartman again from the shotgun. Wants to throw deep, looking for a receiver. And after Offensively, I've been impressed with them, but there is no doubt they lost a ton of production and lost some really good players. Hartman. Those were good players, and Dave Clawson told us he really benefits from developing his players and getting them to their fifth year and getting their best year of football. Iris and how it can affect your football team it makes it really difficult. Gain of 13, Hartman back to throw again. Some pressure coming on him. And he will air yards and four touchdowns. And guys who were a big, big part of it. And another set. He's having a big night coming off the edge here. A little, little confusion by Chapman. And this is an area of the field where that student section at NC State would start to create some noise and become a problem. Now it's just the defense doing a bike. And had experience from a year ago. I do think that Dave Clawson does think he's better on that side of the ball. Last three drives, they haven't done anything, but they're going to get a big gain right here. Christian Beal Smith's gain of the ball game. 31 yards by Christian Beal Smith. Now they're going to run it again, bouncing out. It's the way they read some of these things. You need two backs. Both teams have more than that. Hartman hands off again, right into the center of the eight to go here in the third. <laughs> Under 340 to go in the third. 
They're proud of you, Dave. I hope so. I hope somebody is. <laughs> Gonna be four. Hartman again out of the shotgun. Looking to throw, throwing short over the middle. They're gonna pick it. North Carolina State decides to heat. Wake Forest up. You see the blitz coming off of the right. Hartman does a great job of playing. It's a nice route in anticipation by Roberson. Who has made six catches. Walker looking to bounce outside, but they string him out. They got them into the end zone. Second down eight. Walker trying to go wide. The sacks made a few big plays tonight. He really has played exceptionally well on the defensive side. Hartman will fire. Here are so many good quarterbacks in the conference. Now first down and 10. Been a number of low snaps tonight that Hartman has handled. It opens up for Walker off the right side, and he's going to run. All by the offensive line. He's pushing left, as you can see here. You see that push left did the movement, playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage, and then the cutback. There it is, and it's a good job backside by Nash, the right tackle. But look at the movement. Look where the line of scrimmage gets pushed. Training camp, but you're worried about trying to keep guys healthy and get guys, you're not sure who's going to practice. It's hard to do that. Up trying to right side and a scuffle for the football. Bill Smith just goes inside there. So three-point lead here for the Wolfpack early in the fourth. And Wake is going to throw it again and lead his team to victory tonight. Both really interesting stories of the QBs coming into play. Walker gets free of one man. He slipped one tackle, slips another tap. 14 on that carry. And you've referenced his patience, but how about just the, the speed and decide to just, hey, I'm going to hit the hole hard this time, and I'm going to outrun the angle of Peyton. For two touchdowns. Three-point game. Walker again. Coming up on 12 minutes to go. Back to throw Hartman. And a completed pass. That one. So first down, first and 10 for Hartman. It's Walker again. Walker cutting back in. I do feel like they are getting worn down and are tired. Hartman in the 128 year football history of the two. Walker again. Walker starts. 5'10 sophomore having a big, big night. Stewart, the man in motion. Quarterback's going to roll out. Hartman trying to throw now and completes another pass. To the football right to the 10-yard line. And again, that mesh offense, and it's Walker again. He will dive ahead. Running clock inside, nine and a half minutes to go here in Raleigh. He's going to step back, throw to the end zone. Harris, the strong safety. And I believe this was an RPO again. You see the penetration of the backfield. That's why Hartman pulls it out. And in the end zone, he thinks it should have been a call for them. And that one snapped. Here comes the run again and jumps of their own. About four minutes left in that game. A little less than six in this one. Reversing course once again. It's So Beal Smith, the primary running back, Hartman's going to throw this. Sam Hartman because it's a small window. As you see, Isaiah Moore. First and 10 on a nine-yard pickup. Hartman a handoff for Walker once again into the line. First series tonight. And it's been both sides. Hartman's going to roll right. He's going to fire. We're in that spot tonight. Now Dave Clawson losing so many offensive starters and so many great players from a bowl team a year ago. But also hopefully they have a play call that you really like. They are two for two, Wake Forest is, on fourth down conversions. Harmon back to throw. That's to, to bring a pressure. We're coming after him. You see inside, here comes the pressure. Wake Forest does a good job of picking it up. He was 11 for 21 against Clemson with 182 yards, but always tough to read that. He's back to throw, and he rifles that one. That not sure why with A.T. Perry going out of bounds, but that clock is running. Yeah, he did go out. And a handoff once again for Walker, trying to bounce outside on it. First and 10 for Wake Forest. Hartman back, looking to throw. Gets it off as... 
Walker again with him in the backfield. Wants to put it in the air. Throwing again and complete. Considering you were in bounds. Minute 38 to play. Harmon rolling, leaving the pocket here, and he's going to. Second down and six. Pressure, and it pops free. And NC State trying. There was. It's, it's great pressure around the edge. As Levi Jones just continues to, to pursue the quarterback. Ball comes out. But watch Kenneth Walker. Maybe the play of the night so far. As he dies for this football kind of knock. Makes it third down and 15 with a minute 24 on the clock. More pressure. And it's time. It's a program that has had great defensive linemen and guys that could close out football games, and that's what you're getting right now from the guys up front. In a long developing play, you might need to move the pocket. Going to have to throw it. He fires and... 